Play Dead, the team behind Limbo and Inside have been hard at work on a mysterious new game. They're calling it Game 3 for now, and it's a third-person science fiction adventure set in a remote corner of the universe. I'm going to go over everything we know about the project after combing through Play Dead's social media accounts and their website. So whether you've heard of this one or not, hopefully you can learn something new from this video. The first time we heard about Game 3 was on January 20th, 2017. That's almost six years ago at this point, which makes me very hopeful that we'll be getting some more news soon. So this is the first piece of concept art that we saw, with the caption, Thanks for your warm reception of Inside. Since release, Play Dead founder Arndt Jensen and the team have been working on the next adventure. So immediately, we know this game will be about an astronaut who's crash-landed on a snowy planet. A figure in a spacesuit holds onto a parachute and watches as presumably their spaceship enters the atmosphere amidst a burst of flames. After that announcement, things went quiet until a year later, on March 9th, 2018. We got to see another peek at this astronaut character and learned that Play Dead was looking to hire. They posted this during the Game Developers Conference in 2018 with the caption, If you are creative, passionate, and looking for a new challenge, please visit us at GDC's South Hall, booth number 135. Okay, now things are starting to look promising. There's clearly something here that's far enough along in its development process to warrant hiring new talent. Let's look a little closer at this picture. What immediately stood out to me was the scale of this world in comparison to the astronaut, and just an overall sense of loneliness and isolation. The snow outside obscures our vision, but we see some kind of structure off in the distance, and this, along with the ropes and tarps inside the tunnel, imply that someone else was here before us. Then again, one year later, on March 26, 2020, Play Dead put a call out to join us on our next project, and gave us this gift to look at. A thick fog rolls by as our astronaut stands near a rover. Okay, so now we're going to start to get into some pictures you might have missed. The first three posts I mentioned are from Twitter, but if you go over to Play Dead's Instagram, you'll see a bit of a different story. On February 4th, 2020, two pictures were posted of part of the team exploring a very cold place, presumably doing research for Game 3. Now, this is pretty common for games based on real cities and places, sending people out into the world to get a feel for what it's like to exist in this type of space. But Play Dead has taken this to a whole new level by visiting what I'm gonna assume is somewhere in the Arctic Circle. Or it could just be Canada, I'm not sure. They went and did it again, and on March 22nd, 2022, five more pictures were posted, this time in some underground spaces. Some of you out there probably know a bit better than I do where this might be and what it's used for, but I'll just call it a maintenance tunnel. They captured some really cool shots and probably learned a lot in the process too. Anyone can pull up some pictures on Google Images, but to actually feel what it's like to occupy these spaces, to hear, smell, and touch, will help designers create environments that feel more real, even if Game 3 does take place on an alien planet. On Play Dead's 15th anniversary, December 7th, 2021, we saw another piece of concept art, again with a message to get in touch if you're interested in working on Game 3. The post notes that Limbo and Inside each took six years, and that our current project, Game 3, is even more ambitious. I would assume that this was a subtle and gentle way to say that this game might take a little longer than the others. Again, the first time we heard about the project was on January 20th, 2017, but development most likely started a bit before that, probably shortly after Inside was released in July of 2016. Either way, we're approaching the six year mark and haven't really heard much about the game, so it's probably still going to be a little while before we get our hands on it. But these aren't the only images we have from the game. This is everything that was posted to social media, but there are some slightly more hidden things in some of Play Dead's job postings. They currently have 13 full-time jobs posted on their website, and I looked through all of them in the hopes of learning something new about Game 3. Each post has a piece of concept art included in it, so I'll be switching through these as I talk. First things first, the game is being made in Unreal Engine 5. This was in the news a while back, so you may have already heard this. 
Now, I would imagine that switching to UE5 would set back progress on the game at least a little bit, especially since the engine was only announced in 2020, so I'm not sure when developers could actually get their hands on it. Kind of a two steps forward and one step back scenario. Learning a new engine takes time, but will allow for a better and more efficient workflow to be developed. But I just edit videos, so this is my best guess on how all that works. Anyways, in the level designer job posting, I pulled out an interesting quote. As our process is very visually driven, we expect level designers to have a strong eye for visual composition and broad experience in the creation of 3D environments. Your responsibility as our new colleague will be in designing, blocking out, and in some cases, modeling locations for a third-person, open-world game. Again, Playdead doesn't give much away in these listings, but they did describe Game 3 as open world. Since we don't know anything besides a vague premise, I can't really comment on this in any useful way, but I don't know, seems kind of exciting, right? They also announced their partnership with Epic Games Publishing back in 2020. Epic wants to fundamentally change the developer-publisher model and aims to have the most developer-friendly terms in the industry so that creators can focus on making great games. I really hope this deal works out for Playdead and helps them get the people and resources they need to follow up on their other amazing and successful games. Epic explicitly states that partnering studios will retain full creative freedom and ownership, that Epic will cover up to 100% of development costs, and boasts a 50-50 profit sharing model. Now, a lot of gamers have been very vocal about their uh, negative feelings towards Epic and their big exclusivity deals. But from a developer's point of view, a partnership with them could be life-changing. Just another way to think about it. So that is everything we know about Playdead's third game. I will absolutely be covering the game more on this channel as soon as we get some news. And by the way, Inside and Limbo both have free demos on Steam, so you should absolutely check those out if you still haven't gotten around to playing them yet. And if you have, here are some other upcoming games for you to check out and hold you over until we know a little more about Game 3.